Hello everyone. Today we are going to solve another problem where we will use a formula to find the circumference of a circle. The conditions of the problem are as follows. The car has traveled a distance 4 kilometers and 82 meters. But for this distance, the wheel has made a thousand revolutions. We need to find the radius of the wheel. Let's write down briefly the condition of the problem. The distance is 4 kilometers. 82 meters. The number of revolutions is 1000. We need to find the radius of the wheel. In order to solve this problem, we will use the formula for finding the length of the circle. To find the length of the circle, we need to multiply 2 by the number p and multiply by r, the radius. But first, we need to find the circumference of the circle. If in a thousand revolutions the wheel has traveled a distance of 4 kilometers and 82 meters, we need to find how much distance? The wheel traveled in one revolution. To do this, I will divide 4 kilometers and 82 meters by 1,000. As a result, we get 4,082 meters divided by 1,000 equals 4. 82 thousandths. That's the length of the circumference. This is the distance the wheel traveled in one revolution. How did we get this answer? We converted 4 kilometers and 82 meters into meters. The result is 4,082 meters and divided by 1,000 revolutions. The result is that the length of the circle is 4.82 thousandths. Let's write down that the length of the circle is 4.82 thousandths. Substituting 4.82 thousandths into our formula equals 2 multiplied by 3.14 hundredths and multiply by the radius. As a result, in order to find the radius, we must divide 4.82 thousandths by two times 3.14 hundredths, and the result is 0 0.65 hundredths. And we calculate it in meters. 0 0.65 hundredths of a meter and 0 0.65 hundredths of a meter is 65 centimeters. We solved another problem today and applied the formula to find the length of a circle. This brings our lesson to an end. Goodbye. See you again.